Good morning. Good morning, Jade. So lovely to see you popping on. Hi, Lonnie. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the KR Daily Transmission. I am so grateful to be here with you live. For those of you who can join us live, I'm a uh, in between workouts. <laughs> so here I am in all my, my workout glory and my sweats and my sports bra. Uh, <laughs> I am just about to head over to Pilates. Um, for those of you who have never tried Pilates, wow, what a way to wake up your core. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in Austin is waking up our core fire uh, of leadership. So morning everyone coming on so lovely to see you yeah oh my god we were working on the outline for austin this weekend and i just i started to watch the movie of what's going to happen in austin and i got so excited i was like oh my god this is i mean this is even better than i i i even visualized it being the more we we dropped into the content we're going to cover, how many step up to the mic sessions we're going to do, like the amazing people that have signed up and said yes. Um, please give yourself the gift to join us in Austin, whether in person or through our virtual conference access pass. It is going to be so special. You are not going to want to miss this. So just a little uh, excited message to yeah, get your radio on. Let's get into that rodeo ring of spiritual transformation and empowerment because this is the time. It's happening right now, um, in particular <laughs> for Austin next week, starting May 2nd. So good morning, Risha. Hi, everyone. So happy to see everyone joining us live. So there was something that I didn't get to do um, this weekend that I really wanted to do. I'm watching Safira. She's kind of a uh, She's seeing all the birds <laughs> through the window. Um, and I had some, I had some experiences in meditation last week that it just rocked my world in the best way. And I wanted to meditate with you today. Um, the energy has been really high. There's been a, 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 just a lot in the field. This is, we're still in a very, intense year and um all the planets are direct but pretty soon they're going to be retrograding for a good part of this year so i think this is the a really perfect opportunity in this last week when all the planets are direct astro astrologically to come into some really good practices some deeper understanding about what it means to access your sovereign empowerment through meditation, through your direct connection to your higher self. And this is so essential when you're a leader, like there's, you don't get to, the thing is with leadership is like, if you come out of alignment with your higher self practices, you feel it twice as hard, three times as hard, four times as hard. If you're a Sophia Circle leader, or if you are already spiritually leading, feel free to share your reflections about that in the chat or in the video replay. I talk about this in the Stargate 2 curriculum, the reason why we are drawn to our divine purpose, the reason why we're drawn to our spiritual leadership is because it literally puts the jet fuel in our personal transformation when you are serving clients, when you are serving community, when you are getting involved with something that you believe in, the feedback loop about where your growth edges are is, is faster because you, your desire, your, your desires are higher. The intensity of what you're willing to look at within yourself, the stakes are higher. Um, you know, a lot of people have all these weird ideas that somehow spirituality and money don't exist in the same realm. And it's like, I want to know anyone, anyone at all <laughs> that could really tell me, um, you know, how, how has money not impacted your life? How is that not a spiritual conversation? And when you are legitimately receiving an energetic exchange for your gifts and services, that that financial aspect raises the bar and the stakes even higher because there's a there's a level of financial responsibility that you're showing up to in your leadership 
And so again, the stakes get higher and higher. And that is a good thing. It's like, we are not here to, we're not here to, you know, rest on our laurels. We're not here to just hide out in our meditation altars, you know, privately in our home. We're here to roll up our sleeves, get involved, become very strong light workers that have the musculature and the wings open to take our big prayer out into the world and meet people in their prayer um, with all of our you know, feelings about it. And there's a lot of feelings that come up in leadership. So how do we navigate the feelings? How do we navigate the responsibilities? How do we navigate our deep desire for leadership that whether you run from leadership or you choose to stagnate in your leadership, the leadership is still there. It doesn't go anywhere. It's still waiting for you. Um, and the only way we can avoid it is through self-sabotage. So why do the same old pattern? Why not focus in on those higher self practices that help us fully embrace the responsibilities, the huge get to of your divine purpose and your leadership in this lifetime? So, ooh, really big bird just landed in the tree. Um, so here's what I want to do. I want to spend some time in meditation with you this morning. I want us to access that, that inner seat, that inner throne within your heart, within your body, heart, and mind that knows that you have the sovereign creative power to fulfill your purpose in this lifetime. That place within your heart and within your body that can stay open in all circumstances, that seat, that throne of your I am presence, your higher self within your heart that can show up and remain focused, steadfast, and willing regardless of what's unfolding in world events. This is really important. Sovereign spiritual leadership is not dependent on world events. Sovereign spiritual leadership is not dependent on who believes what they believe about money. Sovereign spiritual leadership is not dependent on um, whether you're perfectly healed or not. Sovereign spiritual leadership is dependent upon you embodying who you really are. And that's it. Because who you really are is a sovereign divine being, having a prolific and courageous and heroic human experience. And so when we come into that throne of your heart and we practice staying there in your seat of power, you will discover that everything is designed within you to guide you to what you need to fulfill your purpose and your leadership in this lifetime. We're not here to do it on our own, but what's inside of you, the light within you, your higher self-consciousness, your divinity is a perfect GPS system that's going to continually guide, pivot, and reclaim your empowered journey uh, to fulfill your divine purpose in this lifetime. So really, the only permission slip that you need in this lifetime is between you and your source, whatever you call God, whatever you call divinity, your higher self, Christ consciousness, Buddha consciousness within you. That is your permission slip. And tuning in every day through prayer and meditation to that source within you is going to guide you to those individuals and those resources and those communities and those teachings and mentors and coaches and other contractors or businesses that are going to support you and stepping forward in your divine offering. So thanks for letting me share a little bit about that today. Um, I would love for us to take a moment and just slow everything down. Come into the breath. I've got a little bit of a sniffle because there's so much pollen in the air right now, but it's fine. I'm <laughs> just going to breathe into it. And as you're breathing into your body, just scan your body. Are you breathing into your heart? Are you stuck in your head? Are you outside of your body? 
With every breath in, you could visualize the word in with every breath out. You can visualize the word out. In and out. And with every breath, I invite you to gradually deepen into your body so that you are breathing from your heart. You are breathing from your belly. You may even feel your breath connecting you to your lower back. You may even feel your skin breathing in your legs. You may feel the very seat of your body breathing into the seat that you are sitting in or wherever you are, wherever your feet are planted. Feeling how grounded the breath is. The breath is designed to ground you, not to shoot you out of your body. It's designed to fully connect you to reality not to escape reality. So breathe in that beautiful oxygen. And if you need to exhale out a sound to help you become more present in this concrete present moment reality, let it out through a sound. It could be like this. Oh. Ah, uh, whatever. It's not even weirder than that. It doesn't matter. What matters is the breath. And I invite you to imagine your circle of empowerment, your sovereign circle of empowerment. That's like a circle of light around your body, anywhere between three to six feet outside of your body. I always see like beautiful flames of light when I call in my circle of empowerment. And for those of you who are new to the Sophia Code, when we, we call in our circle of empowerment, we invoke specific Ascended Master teachers that we meet in the Sophia Code um, to gather in the circle of empowerment around us because their sovereign resonance helps attune us to our own sovereign resonance. And so in the north, I welcome white buffalo woman. In the northeast, I welcome beloved Isis. In the east, I welcome Hathor. In the southeast, I welcome green Tara. This is green Tara, if you are unfamiliar with green Tara. This is a jar and I did a green Tara. It's an altar card you can get on my website. In the south, I welcome Mother Mary. In the southwest, I welcome Mary Magdalene. And Joan of Arc, I'm wearing my Joan of Arc pendant today, the scene of sovereignty. In the West, I welcome Kuan Yin. And in the Northwest, I welcome the Sophia Dragons. In the center of your circle, I welcome your higher self-consciousness falling fresh upon you as a waterfall of light, as that Christ consciousness, that Buddha consciousness that already exists within you. But as we call upon it and we accept that we can breathe into it, I welcome you to connect, to deeply and powerfully connect with the presence of your higher self. For those of you who joined us for the Magdalene Rising Ceremony, um, I hope that you can feel your golden dragon light body scales, <laughs> that beautiful spiritual light body technology rippling with every breath, growing stronger with every breath, anchoring you to the heart of the earth with every breath. And today I welcome you to just be curious, be curious about the energy around your forehead, be curious about the energy buzzing around your head, be curious even about the feelings or sensations around your shoulders and your upper heart. Just breathe into it without naming it. If you are witnessing the energy of thoughts, you can just say, oh, that's what thoughts look like energetically. If you are feeling different emotions, if you're not feeling anything at all, 
you can say, ooh, as I breathe, I notice that there is a presence of feelings or there's a presence of neutrality. And that's what the energy of feelings would look like and feel like, okay. If you breathe in and out, also scan your body and just notice, oh, interesting. I can notice my thought forms, which are actual pre-manifestations. I can notice the rising and falling of, of the energy of emotions as information within my heart center and different parts of my body. As I breathe in and I exhale out, I also become very conscious of the muscular system, the blood pulsing within my body, where my skin begins and ends, how my soul extends beyond my skin in every direction simultaneously. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Breathing in, exhaling out. I welcome you to become curious and conscious about, you know, the sensations around the back of your head where, where we connect into more unconscious belief systems, patterns from childhood and other lifetimes. Breathing into those spaces and places within us that are unconscious, subconscious, free conscious, conscious, super conscious. Oh, curious, interesting. So many layers of, of this experience that I'm having of being a human being. Interesting. Just be curious. So many data points. And noticing how all of those emotions, all of the physicality, the thought processes, the different layers of consciousness. They're all aspects of your experience, but they're not actually you. Just breathe into that. Be curious about what that means. I want to congratulate everyone because I'm feeling everyone dropping in really deep right now. And I feel really good about that. Thank you for, for joining me in this sovereignty meditation. I invite you to deepen into the base of your spine. Just be curious how you can be so grounded and anchored, rooted within the human body, but fully alive, present, and curious to the presence that is coming forward that is beyond your human body, beyond your human functioning, beyond the organs, beyond the blood flow, beyond the oxygen, beyond your role as a parent or a coworker or a contributor, or a creator, or a leader, or a healer, or a light worker, all of which are beautiful roles, but be curious, breathe in deeper to your root, and ask yourself the question this Monday morning to set your orbit into a sovereign motion, who am I? Who am I? Am I a partner? Am I a parent? Am I a coworker? Am I a light worker? Am I a leader? Am I an animal lover? Am I an artist? Am I a scientist? Who am I?
And through the breath, we invite that presence that I often call your higher self or divinity. But even those words can at times become a label that then our mind will bypass or, or monkey mind over. And so today I welcome you to simply acknowledge there is a presence a presence, an undefinable presence that you are. It's so much bigger than any thought, any role, and, or any function that you would embody or perform or inhabit in your human journey. Who am I? You could say out loud in this moment, Show me the presence within. Show me the presence within. I am ready to accept and receive my true self. Now, it's not even a self. It's literally a presence. It's a divine force of nature. It's a primordial space of nothingness. And it is a radical unlimited light simultaneously, but even these words, they're pointing to something that is indescribable. And so we call forth and welcome this present. I can feel this presence pulsing in the back of my heart chakra. And I'm going to practice expanding this presence out through the front of my heart chakra and up through my angel wings. Everyone has angel wings, by the way. If you are new to my channel, you can activate your angel wings in Mary Magdalene's initiation in the Sophia Code. And this presence I'm allowing and I'm welcoming and I'm inviting it to fill every cell of my body because this is a consciousness that can serve every emotion I'm going to feel today. This is the presence that can deeply serve every decision I'm going to make today. This is the presence that's going to serve the stabilization and the focus and the willingness of my leadership today. This is the presence that pours as a... Uh, as a consciousness through the chalice, the vessel that I am today. And it is the same presence that is pouring through you. Attuning to the presence within you. You may feel tingling in every cell of your body. This is the recalibration to that sovereign divine presence that your soul is, your soul identity. Your soul identity goes beyond the singular self. It does not mean the singular self is not important. It is. But for the, for the sovereign self to be self-actualized into the realization of its role is to serve the soul, the divine will of the soul. You see? Can you feel? What I would love for you to explore, maybe be curious about is as you tune into this presence pulsing through every cell of your body, can you feel the magnetism of this presence? It's an atomic magnetism. <laughs> the presence is seated upon the throne of your heart always. It is only the ego structure, it is only the divided self that runs from this presence, anchoring you within the very center of your heart. And it is this presence that literally draws to you every single experience, every single manifestation that you are experiencing based on what you need to be mirrored in next.
your human personality, it's going to, it's going to judge, it's going to try to classify and label what these manifestations are, good, bad, better, worse. But the presence is solely and wholly committed to the absolute enlightenment of the human mind, body, heart, and mind coming online and in union, com communion with the presence of your higher self pouring through you. And it, through the eyes, which there are no eyes because it's all seeing through the omniscient presence of your divinity pouring through you, you realize that there is literally nothing that could exist before you without it being given permission by this presence that is both calling to you and repelling from you the learning experiences that are designed to awaken your human consciousness like the thunder of God. The ego structure, the human personality would constantly convince us that we are victims to this world. The presence within you knows better. It is the laughter of God pouring through every cell of your body. If you only knew how powerful you are today, shifting into the curiosity, that witness space within you of this presence that literally alters reality as you abide within the presence, as you take refuge and sanctuary within the presence, as you peer into this holographic reality, as you use the camera of your eyes to take in this reality, <laughs> you are transmitting, you're either choosing to transmit the presence into this reality or you're choosing to, um, to project, to judge, to overlay the ego structure and the human personality upon physical reality. It's always your choice. Sovereign creatorhood is allowing that presence to pour through you and imprint itself upon reality, thus raising reality up to the highest bar of sovereign co-creation with all that is, or as you um, choose to instead to defer to the wounding, the ego structure, that's what gets imprinted upon your reality. But either way, it doesn't matter because this is the grace of divinity pouring through you. The presence itself is a divine grace that literally is constantly, um, it's, 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 it's rebaptizing you, rebaptizing you, rebaptizing you, consecrating you forever to, to finally awaken experience after experience, whether you rise or fall up within this presence within you. This is the gift of being of, of reality. It's always going to be the same. It's always going to reflect back to you your the truth of divinity the truth of god within all that is it's never not going to do that thing even in the mirroring of of those who persecute oppress control there are so many people on this planet that are so addicted to fear they're so addicted to trauma and control being um, a part of their spiritual awakening, how could reality not meet them there if that's what they want or need? Do you see how powerful this presence is? That if your ego structure, if the collective ego structure of humanity is addicted to pain and suffering and control and war to springboard off of, to self-realize into divine love, why would reality choose anything but to serve exactly what the presence within you is calling forth? Do you see how powerful you are? Therefore, if you sit within this presence and you co-create with this presence and you say yes to divine love, I accept, I receive divine love, I receive the goodness of this reality that wants to raise the bar for me, but will meet me wherever I am at in its per perfect feedback loop of what I believe. So I must choose to believe higher. I must choose to tune into the belief of this presence within me that knows better and keep attuning and keep aligning.
this bar of my own divinity awaiting me, awaiting all of us. And so today, as we are stepping into a deeper and more comprehensive feeling understanding of what it means to be a sovereign co-creator with life, with this reality that cannot be controlled because it is a consciousness that is bigger than any one soul. It is a consciousness that is bigger than any one planet. It is a consciousness that is perfect God consciousness that will never be anything different than what it is. And so we must raise ourselves up within ourselves to the presence of that same consciousness within us. This presence that is so powerful. You could literally like witness the repulsion and the attraction of everything in your reality. That this divine presence, once you align with, it's going to reveal to you, nothing can stick to you that is not really yours. And nothing can stay with you that is not really yours. And nothing can come to you that's not really yours. But everything that is being called forth by the presence within you for your highest and best good, it comes to you whether you like it or not, whether you want it or not. And it is waiting in the wings for you to receive, whether you are ready or not. And so this is the time of the great quickening, the great awakening for those souls who are willing to become sober to the sovereign divine presence, this presence within that is pulsing, that is pure mag magnetism. It's pure consciousness. It knows your life way better way greater than, than your own human understanding. And your human understanding is constantly forever seeking to take refuge within the presence that already exists within you that's connected to the presence that is orchestrating all of life. The good news of this presence is there's a lot less trying there's a lot less confusion when we come back to the very throne within the center of our hearts from which this presence radiates, emanates, expands out in every direction from the very center of who you are. The good news is as we come into meditation and realign and recenter with the presence within us, this is the magnetic, charismatic consciousness that seeks to lead through our willing human lives, our willing human hearts, our willing human voices. This constant attunement back to the truth of who you really are and how this presence seeks to infuse itself into every role that you play, every creation that you are here to birth every service that you are here to offer yourself through, it is the presence seeking to impress itself upon you and then through you into this world. And so we welcome this beautiful presence, this powerful, magnetic, willing, omniscient presence to shine through you today, to bless your human embodiment in all ways, to reveal to you how perfectly prepared and alignment you are for this lifetime. That everything that is worthy of you is, it's already done. There is a magnetic divine presence that you can trust within you that you don't have to strive for. You, you just need to come into presence with the presence. The, the, the presence is going to guide you to what needs to be healed and the presence is going to guide you to how that becomes healed so that greater space within you is available for the presence to fully magnetize in that new reality that is seeking to ground in to this current chapter of your life, the presence. Trust the presence. Every action that you want to take, if it's arising from the presence, guiding you from within, it will be blessed, especially if you stay curious. Stay curious, my friends. 
Stay curious in your consciousness. There's so much freedom through the curiosity of our innocence. Our innocence is not naive. Our innocence is the discernment within us that knows the difference between the ego structure and our divinity. Our innocence is the divine consciousness that knows the difference between our trauma and our most empowered choices. Our innocence is the discernment that can see the difference between codependency and sovereignty. Our innocence is both the primordial power and the light of all creation pouring through us that does not have to create according to the, the laws of 3D form. Our innocence is the divine co-creative power that links us up with the presence within that wants to download seventh plane creation into this world. Let's take three deep breaths into this presence as we close this meditation. The presence within you is going to rearrange and reorganize your thoughts about reality. And that's a good thing. That's what Christ consciousness does. It upends the apple cart of your ego structure of, we all have an ego structure. It upends the apple cart of even linear time space sequences. Spending time in meditation with this consciousness of the, of the presence of your own divinity it steps you outside of all of the ways that you may be trying to control reality and realigns you with the presence that's already magnetizing to you exactly what you need, both to receive and to let go of. I hope you have fun enjoying how the presence is going to move through you, speak through you, and enjoy life through your very willing, heroic, and courageous and curious human experience today. If you've enjoyed this meditation, please feel free to share your thoughts and reflections or experiences in the chat or in the video replay. Thank you so much for liking this video and subscribing to my channel. When you like, subscribe, and offer your comments, um, it shows your support for our ministry and the Sophia Code movement worldwide. Thank you so much for your daily higher self embodiment, for joining us every day, Monday through Friday, for the KR Daily Transmission, for your loving support of the Sophia Code. And I'm getting so excited to be with y'all in Austin. So if you have any questions about our upcoming live events, we're going to Austin, Paris, Bimini, Sedona, Scottsdale. We have an incredible calendar of events this year. Come be with us live. This is the year to step into sanctuaries of sovereign space that are designed to empower you at the highest levels of, of co-creative reality. This is what we're up to in the Sophia Code movement. Nothing less than that. There's, there's nothing like what we're offering on the planet and we are working day and night to ensure that as many people as possible can access this work. Um, and so we thank you for your loving support and for sharing this work with others. Have a beautiful and blessed day, everyone. This has been extraordinary to be in meditation with you today. Love you all so much. Namaste.